Okay, so here we have the drag knife attachment for the Stepcraft system. And you'll notice that the there's a blade on the bottom that you could see sticks out a little bit on the end. There's this white plastic uh, end with that's rounded over. This is what rides along the surface of the material that you're cutting, whether it be vinyl or paper or some other material. The entire unit is spring-loaded. So you can see that the blade and the, the inner part of the housing will move up and down. And this is what we use to push the machine, the Z axis down into the material that you're cutting. It puts a little spring tension on it to keep the blade in constant contact with the material. Now on the top of the drag knife is this adjustment dial. And what this dial does is it adjusts the depth that the blade is going to stick out of the end. So the idea here is that we want to have just enough blade come out so that it cuts the yellow part of the vinyl here, but doesn't cut all the way through the paper. So we're going to eyeball it first, and I'm, I'm just going to turn this knob counterclockwise and it's going to be hard to see on the camera, but we I've got just a tip of that blade sticking out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the drag knife down into the vinyl and I'm going to pull it for a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to see what happened. Now, as you can see, this cut all the way through the material. So that's obviously too deep. So I'm going to back it off some more. And I'm going to try it again and I'm going to push down and I'm going to pull it towards me. Now that time it did not cut through all the way, but it didn't cut through the vinyl all the way either. So I'm going to go clockwise just a hair and we're going to give it another shot. So we're going to push down and then pull, pull forward and see what happens. Now, optimally, what you're looking for is you want it to cut through the vinyl, but not through the paper. And what you want to be able to see is this crease that it makes in the back of the paper. So you can see I've, I've got a crease here, but it didn't cut all the way through like the first one did. So that is going to tell me that we are probably in really good shape. I'm going to give it another shot and I am going to push down and pull across and actually at that time I went all the way through again so we're gonna adjust it back just a hair and let's try it again there we go so I've got my crease it cut through the vinyl and I should be able to peel the vinyl back here which I can without it cutting through the paper so that is how the drag knife gets set properly. And now I'm ready to mount this into the Stepcraft machine. And I will go into Vetric Cut 2D and we'll draw something to cut out with the drag knife. And I'll show you those settings in there and how to make this work. Okay, to set a job up for the drag knife on the Stepcraft machine, we're going to use Cut 2D from Vetric. First thing we're going to do is uh, create a new file and we are going to set the width and height of the job. Now I'm in millimeters right now, which is fine. You can do imperial measurements as well, but for this, I'm going to use 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. I'm going to set the thickness to 0.2 millimeters. And this isn't really that important because as I, we already showed you, you adjust the knife depth mechanically on the drag knife itself. So just setting it to 0.2 millimeters is, is fine. Uh, we are going to set the Z0 to the top of the material. Datum is in the lower left corner, and we are making sure we're in millimeters for this job. Click OK. Here's our work area. This would represent the piece of vinyl that we're going to be cutting. So we want to type some text in here. We're going to click on the text tab. Going to make sure that we choose Arial Black. That's just the font I want to use for this demonstration and a text height of 10 millimeters. So we're going to type our text in here and we're just going to type Life's 
uh, drag and we're going to click apply. Now you can see that the text is, has been put on the baseline and the G is actually hanging off the, the material. So we're going to click on the move tab and we are going to highlight everything. And then using the arrow a few times, we're just going to move it up so that there's a little bit of space between the bottom of the G and the bottom of the material. And that's it. That's what we're going to, what we're going to cut out. So now we're going to switch to the toolpath tab and to do drag knife operations, we're always going to be using a profile toolpath. So all we want is for the knife to go around the uh, perimeter or the, the profile of the entire thing that you've either drawn or in this case, the letters. So we're going to click on that. And one thing we've got to do is we need to make sure that we have a drag knife set up. Now I've got one set up here under specialist in my version of cut 2d, but I'm going to show you how to, we're going to delete that. And I'm going to show you how we can set up a new drag knife. So click on the specialist tab and click on new. And for a tool type, we're just going to use end mill and we are going to name it drag knife. Uh, we will put a note in that this is the drag knife for Stepcraft. The diameter that we're going to use is 0.1 millimeter, so that's pretty small. But when you think about it, all we're really talking about is the uh, sharp edge of the blade itself. So we could probably even go smaller than that. But since we're not doing any pocketing or carving or anything, we're just doing one single pass around the perimeter. Well, 0.1 is fine for this. We're going to set the pass depth. Now, remember that I, we showed you that the drag knife is spring loaded. So it's important that when we Z it off, we want to make sure that the bottom of the drag knife, the white piece touches the surface. But we want to make sure that when we're actually cutting that the step craft machine moves the drag knife down and puts a little pressure on it since that's spring loaded. So what we've done was we, we're going to say we're going to go two millimeters down. So every time it goes to cut, it's going to push that drag knife spring down two millimeters. We have a step over a 0 0.01. Again, it's, it's kind of irrelevant because we're only doing a single profile pass. We are going to set the spindle speed to zero. Um, we're not using a spindle, so it doesn't matter. The feed rate, we're going to leave it uh, 50 millimeters per second, which is the maximum speed of the machine. And we're setting the plunge rate at 30 millimeters a second. We're going to call this tool zero and we're going to click OK. So now we have uh, a drag knife selected as our tool for this. And the number of passes here, we're going to leave at one because again, profile cut, it's a single cut. We want to make sure that our start depth is zero, which is the top of the vinyl, and our uh, cut depth is two millimeters. Now, again, keep in mind, we're not actually driving the blade down two millimeters because the drag knife is spring-loaded. We're going to move the housing of the drag knife down two millimeters, which will put pressure on the knife as it cuts. We have a couple options. Now, when we do milling, we typically want to cut along the outside of the perimeter, but because we're using a knife and the blade is so thin on this particular case with a drag knife, we want to cut on the, the vector. So we want to go on the lines all the way around. We're going to use vector start points. Uh, don't optimize since it's one pass. It, it really isn't going to matter. There's no last pass. We don't have to worry about tabs or ramps or leads. We are, we can name this drag knife. And that's pretty much it. So what we'll do is we'll click calculate and we're going to get a warning here. That's going to say the material thickness is two tenths of a millimeter. Maximum tool depth is two millimeters and we can press okay to continue with the calculation. They're just warning you that the, if you were using an end mill or something, you would definitely be driving it down below the, th the thickness of the material you're working on. So we'll click okay here and I'm going to turn this, the, the vinyl we're using is yellow plastic uh, vinyl, so I'm going to just select yellow pla plastic here. 
uh, we can reset the preview and we're going to do just preview all tool paths. So there you have it. That's the outline that the drag knife is going to create on the vinyl. And if we did all the setup properly with the drag knife itself and the blade depth, we should be in, in good shape. So what we'll do here is we're happy with how that's going to look. We're going to select drag knife and we are going to save the tool path. Because it's a step craft machine using a UC CNC, we're going to choose the Mach 2 slash 3 arcs millimeter uh, post processor. And we are going to click save path. I'm going to save this just for ease of finding it right to my desktop. And I'm going to call this drag knife demo. And we'll click save. So that's it. The next step is to load this file up into UC CNC, put a piece of vinyl in the machine, and get, get started cutting. 